So I decided to recreate some of my favorite Instagrammers poses and share with you some looks. Hey guys, it's Ali. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with an Instagram challenge for you. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you could join my YouTube family. Let's try to get this video to 5,000 thumbs up because we worked so hard on this video. And special thank you to my photographer Summer and also my mom who did a great job at taking all these photos. Like these turned out so well. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. Go! The very first photo is of Rachel Martino. She's one of my favorite New York fashion vloggers. Since I didn't get a chance to go fruit picking during the summer, I thought why not try to go apple picking for the fall. Picked some lovely fruit from my refrigerator that's still in the bag. So I'm going to recreate the look in my backyard. For the first photo, she's here picking apples and I feel like that's the quintessential fall activity. So I have two different baskets and I'm thinking, this one's a little bit too big, right? Yeah. Oh, these are not even apples, they're peaches. <laughs> Probably put some fabric under it to like prop it up. If you look right behind me, I don't have an apple tree. <laughs> this is a Chinese laoquat tree, which is loquat in English. And we're going to throw some apples in the air. And with the help of my lovely assistant, Summer, she's going to help me take some photos. like turn to the side a bit and then look like I'm picking from the tree. <laughs> oh, that one. Cute. Yes. Oh. So I think I did a pretty good job. I didn't copy her outfit exactly, but just took the inspiration from her pose. If you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It just shows me that you're enjoying my content. <laughs> Some momentum. Kick. The second photo is of Jen M. She's sitting on a swing and she's just looking out. It looks very dreamy. I'm sure I don't need to introduce Jen M. She's one of my favorite YouTubers and fashion bloggers. Okay, we are going to our next stop, which is Bernal Heights. It's a park with a swing at the top. This is so weird. It's like this really creepy know, right? angle that's like also, I don't want Yeah, and you're like focused on the road, but also you're like. <laughs> How do people do this? Yeah. I'm in hiking attire. <laughs> Are you ready for a workout? <laughs> I'm already done. <laughs> <laughs> and we made it to the top of Bernal Heights, so right behind me you can see a 360 view of the entire San Francisco. Luckily we got here at a time where nobody is here. <laughs> okay, I think myself <laughs> some momentum. Kick! <laughs> okay, don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Go. I'm so scared right now. This is, you know I'm afraid of heights, right? I didn't know. <laughs> She's like crying on the swing. <laughs> It was challenging since the swing is on an incline, so I was super afraid I was gonna fall. Woo! Okay, this shot is so challenging because this building is so high and I'm so tiny that it's just like way blown out of proportion and it's looking a little backward too. The third Instagram photo is of Tessa in front of the Flatiron building. I really like how she took the photo from a lower angle so it had a more edgy editorial look. So I tried to recreate this in downtown, found a similar building called the Feeland Building. I think I'm pronouncing that right. It was a little bit challenging because my mom was there and there were so many people walking around. It was kind of hectic. Surprised that I found a building similar to that without having to fly all the way to New York. Okay. Next up, we are channeling Whaley. Whaley is standing in front of a dim sum restaurant where she used to go to when she was Little, and there's this water fountain so currently I'm in Japantown and I think this is the most similar look and feel I can get so here is the photo that I'm trying to recreate honestly I thought there was a water fountain here in Japantown and this is what we have instead I don't think that's a water fountain but we can try to recreate the look anyways 
I really liked how minimal and just effortless the photo looked. So I recreated her outfit by wearing a white flowy top with some white pants and some sandals. And she had the straw bag, so I tried to find the most similar one that I had from Mod Cloth. I tied on a orange scarf to complete the look. I love Nijia. It's like one of my favorite grocery stores in Japantown. They have like literally everything. Like everything that you want, snack-wise, drink-wise, food. They even have like pre-made sushi. I really love the Song of Style photo where she was at New York Fashion Week just picking out some snacks for herself. So I decided, well, I don't really want to go into a store in an over-the-top dress to draw extra attention to me. Oh my god, I'm in snack heaven. There's so many yummy things. Oh, I know all the matcha flavored foods, right? This is my favorite. Oh, really? One? What's that? Wait, you never have this one? Like, wait, wait, no, 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 no. it tastes like lychee. <gasps> like, Ooh, like, should we try that? I think we should. Okay. I, I really like it. Decided to kind of get inspiration from that and just grab some snacks. Grab my favorite Pocky, heart candy, and mm, so good. Best decision I've ever made. So I ended up picking up this tea. It's a Gen Mai green tea with roasted rice. It's delicious. If you've never tried it, I would highly recommend it. So good. The next photo is inspired by Zori Mori. She's a San Francisco based blogger and also a friend of mine. She recently went on a trip to Russia and she was in this Moscow subway running through in this super dreamy blue flowy gown. So all you have to do is to sit down, lay your dress flat and out, and then like just try to sit up as straight as possible. Making sure to pull out the dress and fanning it out so it looks extra flowy. All right, let's take a look at these photos. Oh, whoa. Oh. Especially with the perspective being a little bit lower, it just makes the dress look like it's endlessly flowing. Hair, okay, I haven't, can't even talk today. This is really awkward, there's like tons of people here. Like from people who are tourists to like people taking wedding photos. I'm just here in my gown, you know, hanging out, enjoying the sun. <laughs> For the last and final outfit of the day, I wanted to channel Jen M. So I found this really kind of beautiful archway with vines on top. And you know, in San Francisco, there aren't as many beautiful just arches. So why not just go for this garage door? I'm wearing this oversized chunky cardigan with these black jeans I feel like she would usually reach for. If only I had like an oversized band tee and some chunky platform heels, I would probably complete the look. And maybe like a hat too. to my channel to join this month's giveaway which is a Polaroid camera um, just click on the red button here or down below so you can enter to win this giveaway
Comment down below and let me know who are some of your favorite Instagrammers so I can go check out their profiles and create a part two of this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Click right here.